Hi, today I have an exciting news uh, to share with you all. As you might have noticed or not noticed, my frequency of uh, making new videos have um, reduced a little bit. Earlier I used to post every uh, week or two and now the time it takes to post a new video has slightly increased. This is because there was something else which uh, caught my curiosity and have been putting more and more time into it. I've always been curious about system design. In the last year I published some system design videos mostly uh, to share what I was learning and also connect with people who were learning the same thing. After a few weeks of that, it was mostly uh, theoretical and um, I wanted to get my hands dirty and build a side project. I've also been meaning to uh, learn about AI and ML. For me personally, I think I learn best when I study a concept and apply that concept in solving a problem. Instead of uh, watching a lecture for six hours and uh, scrambling to solve the assignment problems and then hopping on to the next lecture for six hours. At the same time, uh, there is a build in public uh, movement which is happening in Twitter. All of these forces combined and um, it led to the building and launching of my first SaaS product. As an engineer, I always wanted to have a SaaS product of my own. There's something really exciting about having a live project out on the internet. And over time, you get to uh, tinker a few things and build some thing. I think the overall process I really find that exciting. This also reminds me of one of uh, Naval Ravikant's uh, famous quotes. He says, learn to sell, learn to build. If you can do both, you will be unstoppable. So having my own SaaS product uh, gives me an opportunity to uh, hone my skills towards building as well as selling it. On top of all of this, I cannot think of a better way to get my feet wet with AI and ML. I think software is the highest leverage product you can build and it is becoming easier and easier to build a product at web scale than what it was a few years ago. I think every passionate engineer should give a shot at uh, building a SaaS product. So that covers the uh, lengthy motivation. I hope you made it through that. So I built a SaaS product called Search My Docs. So it uses a technique called Retrieval Augmented Generation, also um, abbreviated as a RAG, to retrieve crucial information in your personal document collection. That was a mouthful. Let me explain uh, what problem it solves. Have you ever been in a situation where you're searching for a crucial piece of information in Gmail or uh, Google Docs? Um, you know that Gmail has that information. You know Google Docs has that information, but when you search, it will show a bunch of emails and you have to sift through each of those emails to find that particular information. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're searching for your win number in your uh, Gmail because you are trying to switch to a new insurance provider and they want your win number. Now you go to Gmail and search for win and it just shows some random email um, instead of actually giving you the win number. So now you have to sift through all these emails to get that win number and it's kind of annoying. This is the problem Search My Docs solves. So it basically takes all your documents and uh, converts it into an intelligent searchable entity. So whenever you ask a question, it gives you the exact answer. So behind the scenes, it's using a technique called uh, retrieval augmented generation. Get into more details in the following videos. So that's basically what uh, Search My Docs uh, solves. You can upload uh, markdown documents, you can upload PDF documents. I'm planning to uh, add support for uh, Google Docs. I'm also planning to add support for Notion as well. So here's the uh, demo for the product. Here is a quick demo of how Search My Docs uh, works. I'll click on sign in and then I'll use uh, my Google account and log in. I'll go to upload, upload a file. I go to my documents and I'm gonna upload my homeowner insurance document. And now it is successfully uploaded. I go to chat, I'll ask, can you provide me details of insurance? So I already have a vehicle insurance document and I just uploaded homeowner insurance document. So it is asking which insurance I'm referring to. So let's say I'm gonna say vehicle insurance. It gave me uh, the details of my vehicle insurance policy. And now I'm going to say I changed my mind, give me details of homeowner insurance. So 
so that's it it's as simple as uploading your files and asking questions or details on it chat tab to chat and the documents tab lists all your files that you have uploaded and the upload tab you can use it to upload files um, right now we support markdown and pdf up to 20 mb uh, we plan to add support for uh, more formats soon we also plan to add integration for uh, notion then we have the pricing tab which lists uh, different pricing plans and uh, we have a managed subscription which takes you to stripe to manage your subscription then we have uh, templates you don't necessarily have to use this template i generated these templates from chat gpt you can generate your own markdown templates and use it and then in the settings one it gives you um, the number of um, queries uh, you've asked so far and how much storage you're using that's pretty much it it's a simple search engine for your personal documents let me give you a brief introduction of my skills and background during the start of my career i did some front-end stuff uh, does anyone remember adobe flex so i used to build front-end with adobe flex and back-end in google app engine after a while javascript took over and i followed angular for a while and then every weekend there was a new javascript framework and it was exhausting to keep up so eventually i moved to uh, back-end and i stopped following the front-end developments but I was able to put together a, a decent UI with bootstrap and uh, vanilla JavaScript so ever since then whenever the idea of having my own SaaS came up front-end was the bottleneck I didn't want to learn front-end at first I thought I'll partner up with someone who knows front-end really well it's also hard to find a co-founder who's also inspired to have their own SaaS product eventually I just uh, gave up on that idea and um, decided to learn react with the help of uh, chat GPT thanks to chat GPT and tailwind CSS I was able to put together a decent UI for my product so this is the stack I used for front-end I used next.js and react and I hosted it on Vercel for backend, I built it on Superbase. Superbase offers a managed Postgres and makes it super easy to build applications. I highly, highly recommend uh, checking them out. It also offers edge functions through Dino. And then I used uh, Stripe for uh, payments processing. In the next video, I'll go into detail of how this app works. In this channel, I hope to make more videos about building AI applications, as well as AI and ML concepts. If you're interested in those topics, consider subscribing and be part of my learning journey. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.